This is your news source evening bulletin for today, Wednesday, the 20th day of September in the year 2023. I'm Gordon Mosley reporting and here's what we're tracking tonight. In his address to the United Nations General Assembly this afternoon, President Irfan Ali zeroed in on the latest threats and territorial claims from neighboring Venezuela. The president said the Bolivarian Republic must desist from threatening Guyana. He said though the threats have persisted for several decades, they have intensified in recent times. President Ali told the UN General Assembly that only yesterday, Caracas is still not a threat because of Guyana's recent auctioning of oil blocks offshore Guyana. He described Venezuela's latest objection to Guyana conducting its own affairs as a threat to regional and international peace and security, as well as a threat to Guyana's investment partners. We demand that Venezuela honors its obligation under the Charter to pursue only peaceful means to settle any disputes it may have with Guyana, including adjudication before the International Court of Justice, allowing the court to decide would ensure a resolution that is peaceful, equitable, and in accordance with international law. President Ali said Ghana's participation at the International Court of Justice is testament to the country's commitment to have the border issue settled in a peaceful manner. Ghana will spare no effort in defending its sovereign and territorial integrity. I express appreciation to every member of the international community that has continued to support Guyana's effort to, pre to preserve its sovereignty and territorial integrity. And according to the president, when Guyana takes its place next year on the UN Security Council, issues such as respect for international law and justice will be the country's guide. As Guyana takes its place next January as a member of the Security Council, those principles of international law and justice, so prominent in the charter of this organization, shall be our guide. And so, I express heartfelt gratitude to the overwhelming support of member states to our candidature to the United Nations Security Council for the 2024-2025 term. I wish to assure the entire UN membership that Guyana is committed to working with fellow council members and the wider UN membership to fulfill, to fulfill the mandate of the Security Council. President Ali also used his address to highlight issues related to food security, climate change, and global poverty. More news coming up in just a moment. It's been a long time coming. Overdue, some might say. But now that it's here, it will change life forever. And it is here to stay. The future is now. Transforming Guyana into the 21st century. Introducing GTT Fiber. Experience internet connectivity like never before. Speeds you deserve at prices you can afford from a name you can trust. Sign up today. GTT Fiber is here. GTT. Together, we rise faster. Oh my lord. I just love to shop in this store. My customers them gonna love all these things. So many different things in one place. Household items, electronics, toys, stationery, confectionery, exercise equipment, shoes and clothes for men, women and children, school things, costume, jewelry, perfume, makeup. Oh, look the makeup! Giftland <laughs> Office Max, Guyana's favorite department store. Having your own car means peace of mind. Having your own car means comfort and convenience. Having your own car means freedom to get there on your own time. It's deal on wheels at Republic Bank. It's time to get that new vehicle or upgrade to a better one with Republic. Super low rates and low down payment. Up to eight years to repay and great prices. Come in to Republic Bank today. Republic Bank. We're the one for you. Bust the flavors, that my craver, we're full of flavors. Tell your neighbors about the bust the flavor, flavors. Grab a bust the flavor, flavor, flavors. Yeah, taste busta. Grab a busta, bust the flavor, taste the savor. Busta, bust the flavor, flavors. Busta, bust the flavor, flavors. Solid, in countries far and wide, you in your assurance, we stand.
standing by your side. Golden service, half a century and more. New India assurance, our policies are secure. From the heart of India, we serve these islands. The strength that you can trust, you're safe when you come to us. New India Assurance Company, assurance when you need it most. For your home, motor or business insurance, visit New India Guyana office, 58 Brick Dam next to Star Computers. Telephone 2260-4157. Comfortable parking available. Let's tell you now that the government of Guyana has informed the international community of Venezuela's latest statement claiming Guyana's territory, describing the statements as a threat not only to Guyana but also to regional and international peace and security. Venezuela has rejected Guyana's move to auction off additional oil blocks, which are located in Guyana's own exclusive economic zone. Venezuela continues to claim the Essequibo region. The government of Guyana said it has no doubt that under international law, the waters in question form part of Guyana's exclusive economic zone, where Guyana alone enjoys sovereign rights over the resources in the sea and beneath the seabed. According to the statement from the Guyana government, if Venezuela disputes Guyana's exclusive economic zone, then it is obliged by the UN Charter and the Charter of the Organization of American States to employ only peaceful means to seek a resolution. The government said both charters prohibit the threat or use of force against another state. Guyana therefore implores Venezuela to honor its obligation to pursue only peaceful means to settle any dispute it may have with Guyana, including adjudication before the International Court of Justice, where Guyana has sought confirmation of the land boundary between the two states, the statement from the government said. Earlier this week, President Irfan Ali said Guyana reserves the right to pursue economic development activities in any portion of its sovereign territory or maritime space, adding that any unilateral attempt by Venezuela to restrict the exercise by Guyana of its sovereignty and sovereign rights will be wholly inconsistent with the Geneva Agreement and the rule of international law. Meanwhile, in a statement, the APNU-AFC parliamentary opposition said it supports the position taken by the Guyana government in response to the latest attempt by Venezuela to undermine Guyana's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The APNU-AFC said it affirms that it is the right of the government of Guyana to pursue economic activities in any portion of its sovereign territory or maritime space for the benefit of the people of of Guyana. Well, hours after Venezuela raised an objection to Guyana's auctioning of new oil blocks on Tuesday, the Secretary General of the Organization of American States, Luis Almargo, decried what he described as the intimidatory tactics by Venezuela, and he said Guyana must preserve its territorial integrity. He said the OAS vehemently decries the intimidatory tactics that seek to undermine the principle of good neighborliness. And the OAS recognizes the right of Guyana to welcome investors, adding that Guyana must preserve its territorial integrity and security by addressing its case with Venezuela at the International Court of Justice. The decades-old border controversy has seen various acts of aggression over the years by Venezuela. Back in 2013, a Venezuelan gunboat intercepted a U.S.-operated ship which was carrying out surveying works in the Essequibo River. In 2018, Venezuela again intercepted a ship operated by ExxonMobil offshore Guyana. The 2021 seizure of two Guyanese fishing boats near the Waini River and the sighting of two fighter Venezuelan jets in Ghana airspace also in 2021 heightened tensions. But despite the threat and aggression, Ghana has sought a peaceful resolution to the claims laid by Venezuela by accepting the decision of the United Nations Secretary General to refer the matter to the International Court of Justice, which is currently hearing the case. In 2018, Ghana asked the International Court of Justice to to confirm that the border which was laid down in an 1899 arbitration between Venezuela and the then colony of British Guyana is valid. Venezuela, while boycotting much of the proceedings, has tried to stop the case from moving forward by arguing that the United Kingdom should be involved in the matter, as Guyana was a British colony in 1899. The International Court of Justice has dismissed that position by Caracas. Meanwhile, the United States is also making known its support for Guyana and the country's territorial integrity. 
In a statement today, the Assistant Secretary of State, Brian Nichols, said the U.S. government supports Ghana's sovereign right to develop its own natural resources. He said efforts to infringe upon Ghana's sovereignty are unacceptable, and the U.S. calls on Venezuela to respect international law, including the 1899 Arbitral Award and the ongoing ICJ process between Guyana and Venezuela. In its capacity as a supervising authority under the Anti-Money Laundering and Countering the Financing of Terrorism Act, the Ghana Revenue Authority presents to you this factoid. Money Laundering Money laundering is the processing of criminal proceeds that disguise or conceal their criminal origin. Simply put, it's the process by which criminals make dirty money obtained from their criminal activities look legitimate or clean. Come visit us on Waterloo Street. John Lewis Styles, simply different. 592 Events and Entertainment in partnership with Republic Bank and Caribbean Airlines present Welcome Home, Pan, Brass, and Soca. The kickstart to the Cricket Carnival Weekend. On Thursday, September 21, the Kingston Beach comes alive with electrifying performances by Kun Jazz Steel Ensemble, Pan Groove Steel Band, the Guyana Police Force Steel Band, Guyana Defense Force Steel Band, and the Parkside Steel Orchestra. Grab your early bird tickets for $2,000 or stage front tickets for $5,000. Showtime, 5.30 p.m. Don't miss Welcome Home, Pan, Brass, and so on the Kingston Beach. Brought to you by Republic Bank, Caribbean Airlines, Minister of Culture, Youth and Sport, and Cricket Carnival. Having your own car means peace of mind. Having your own car means comfort and convenience. Having your own car means freedom to get there on your own time. It's deal on wheels at Republic Bank. It's time to get that new vehicle or upgrade to a better one with Republic. Super low rates and low down payment. Up to eight years to repay and great prices. Come in to Republic Bank today. Republic Bank. We're the one for you. Turning now to the housing sector, the Central Housing and Planning Authority today handed over the keys for five core homes to the new owners as it launched the Core Home and Improvement app at the Autochunk Convention Center. The Core Home Support and Home Improvement Subsidy Initiative forms part of the Inter-American Development Bank-funded $28 million U.S. dollar Adequate Housing and Urban Accessibility Program. The CEO of the Central Housing and Planning Authority, Sherwin Greaves, said to date more than 300 Hundred Guyanese have already benefited from the adequate housing and urban accessibility program. To date, a total of 323 persons have been selected for the core home support and 928 for the home improvement subsidy. While 73 low income, income families are now owners of brand new core homes and subsidies have been disbursed to the tune of 258 beneficiaries on the East Bank, East Coast, La Parfait Harmony, and various parts of Georgetown, including Sophia. 
And Minister of Housing and Water Colin Crow said initially the program was designed to build 250 core homes at a cost of $4 million each and to facilitate the issuance of 2,000 home improvement subsidies at a value of $500,000 each. However, with the intervention of his ministry, the program has been expanded. We subsequently received a no objection to extend the boundary as well as the target areas. And we were able to increase the subsidies from 500,000 to 750,000. And with a shifting in line item, a target of from 250 core homes to, to the 323 core homes. Minister Kroll also said the program recognizes the need to assist vulnerable families in achieving home ownership and support. The program covers households in urban and semi-urban areas in a number of communities around Georgetown on the east coast of the Marara and on the east bank of the Marara. Meanwhile, the app, which was developed by V75 at a cost of $14 million, will significantly reduce the processing time for applications for core homes or home improvement subsidies. Added to that, it will allow applicants to track their applications and, in the case of the Central Housing and Planning Authority, to monitor the submission of documents for compliance. The Core Home Support and Home Improvement Subsidy app coincides with the Ministry of Housing and Water's Single Window Planning and Development System which is currently being developed. The minister within the Ministry of Housing and Water, Susan Rodriguez, and the IDB resident representative, Lorena Salazar, were among the auto officials present at today's ceremony. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations is supporting the Ghana Rice Development Board's efforts to advance technology in the rice industry. A new project using drones to assist small farmers with their rice farming and monitoring has been launched. The project forms part of China's South-South Cooperation Program. It commenced with the handing over of five drones and related software and accessories to the GRDB, along with two weeks of training on the use of the new equipment. In a statement, the FAO said the initiative is in response to recovery from the impacts of COVID-19 for countries of the Community of Latin America and Caribbean States, CELAC. The main aim is to support rural livelihoods and food systems so that smallholder farmers in rural communities can increase their competitiveness. According to the FAO, introducing drones and a geographic information system mapping in Guyana will allow rice farmers to comprehensively monitor their production plots during the various growth phases in a timely manner and also provide data for key decisions needed to improve and advance rice production. The new initiative is also expected to help with land, water and fertilizer usage. Police in Linden have arrested a 27-year-old East Coast Marara construction worker after he was nabbed with close to five pounds of cocaine on Tuesday afternoon at the police checkpoint at Barmia in Linden. According to a statement from the police, Delon van der Stoep was a passenger in a Route 94 minibus which plies the Latin to Georgetown route. When searches of the bus were conducted, the minibus was on its way to Georgetown from Latam. The cocaine was found in a haversack that the police said van der Stoep was carrying. He was taken to the Mackenzie Police Station where he was told of the drug traffic offense and immediately arrested. He's expected to face a magistrate before the end of the week. Super 95 gasoline gives you more reasons to drive and is available at 56 service stations nationwide. For affordable price, high performance and high mileage, choose Guyol's Super 95 gasoline.
Sorry. Jack? Hey. Boys, why are you going with all that speed? Yeah, today is the 15th. My NAS contributions are due. And I ain't even get the farms as yet. Hold on. You mean to tell me that you're not aware that all self-employed persons can now make their NIS contributions using the MMG app from the comforts of their homes and offices? Really? And you know, I just pay my bills using MMG, you know? Yes, Jack. And the thing's simple. All you have to do is open the app, select pay bills, government services, NIS, and pay. They will prompt you to enter your NIS number, the month you're paying for, and the amount. So, I don't need to submit any form? The only time you submit in a farm is when you're making a claim. Wait, wait, I could make a claim too? Oh no, Manja, you didn't know that? <laughs> yes, all self-employed persons are entitled to all benefits from NIS. Well, except for the industrial benefits. And here's the good part. All of their farms, you can download them from the NIS website. Well, girl, I'm really glad I won't pay to you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, Make sure you pay your bills later. Later? I gotta sit down right here and pay my contributions right. first. Take care. For further information, please visit the website at www.nis.org.gy, the National Insurance Scheme Facebook page, or your nearest NIS office. Food Max Supermarket, located on the ground floor of the Giftland Mall, is your one-stop shop for all your grocery needs. We stock a variety of imported frozen meat and food products, fresh produce and pet supplies, freshly made bread, rotisserie chicken, and patties are also available daily. Shop in comfort today at Food Max and let our courteous staff assist you in satisfying your shopping needs. Food Max, the fresh food specialist. It's one of your biggest goals getting your own home where memories are made, where happiness lives. You may feel that home ownership or renovation is beyond your reach, but we at Republic want you to know that there's always a way. Ask us about our suite of mortgages. Let's help make your housing wishes come true. Or advise on how the equity in your existing home can finance other dreams and goals. Call or go online to learn more. Look who's in the mix now. The new Busta Soda Water. Zero calories. Zero sugar. Zero artificial flavors. 100% refreshing. Taste Bust the Soda Water today. Bust the Soda Water. Now available for only $120. With your regional and international news tonight, I'm Svetlana Marshall in the region. Prime Minister of Grenada, Dickon Mitchell, has signaled his intention to table legislation to deal with the escalation of criminal activities in Grenada, particularly gun-related crimes. He told a news conference Tuesday that while for the most part, crime in Grenada has been trending downwards, gun-related crimes were increasing. Already for 2023, the island has recorded 18 homicides, many of which were gun-related. Prime Minister Mitchell said his cabinet intends to pilot legislation to amend the Firearms Act to introduce far more significant penalties for persons found in unlawful possession of a firearm. He said the ceremonial opening of the new parliamentary term will be next week and his government intends to file the necessary legislation before the Christmas holiday. BBC in a report said a company which operates some of Mexico's railways has suspended 60 of its routes after a surge of migrants hitching rides on freight trains. Ferromex said services would be halted on the trains traveling towards Mexico's border with the U.S. in order to avoid accidents or loss of life. It added that the number of migrants trying to hitch rides on its freight trains was unprecedented. Hundreds of thousands clamor onto the roofs and cling to the sides each year. The network of freight trains is referred to by migrants as La Bista, the Beast, and many risk jumping on board to speed up their 3,000-kilometer journey from Mexico's southern to its northern border. As the wagons are usually filled with freight, most ride on the train roof or hang from its sides.
If they fall, they risk losing life and limb. The trains are also targeted by gangs who rob, rape and extort migrants. And finally tonight, international news. The fentanyl that killed a one-year-old child at a nursery in New York City was hidden in the nap room under a mat as he slept, police say. According to the BBC, Nicholas Dominici, who had been at the nursery for just a week, died of suspected drug overdose on Friday. Three other children were admitted to hospital after being exposed to the powerful narcotic at the daycare center. Drug conspiracy and murder charges have been filed against two people. Police believe the children, ranging in age from eight months to two years old, inhaled fentanyl at the nursery. A search of the nursery turned up one kilo of fentanyl that was discovered underneath a mat where the children had been sleeping earlier, said NYPD Chief Detective Joseph Kenny on Monday. Investigators also allegedly discovered three presses used to package kilos of drugs. And that's your news source evening bulletin for tonight. I'm Svetlana Marshall reporting and encouraging you to stay safe.